Hey guys, what you said on the day? Brand Hair Therapeutic Fragrance. Today I am doing this one, Guerlain Ombre Eternal. Um, yeah, mixing through my collection, getting back to my collection, wearing those. Uh, we're going to do a review today of Etat de la Orange, um, Tom of Finland. Glad you found the channel. Stay tuned for the review. Be back. Hey guys, Brandon back. Uh, a tat liberated the orange. Tom of Finland today. Um, this house makes a ton of variations. And you can get lost in this house very easily. They, they're just putting out stuff left and right. Um, anyways, I think that's been a while. It was so long since I've uh, reviewed them. I bought a, a sample from them, I sprayed them on, but I mean, I'm just like, and then I'm like, how do I go through? Just too much, a lot. Anyways, uh, so here I'll pick the, the one that notes that all ring to my uh, ears on this one. Uh, this bottle is $85 for 50 ml. Can be had on Amazon for that. I'll share a link below. Uh, I put this at an 80% masculine, 20% feminine. Notes on this are aldehydes, lemon, birch leaves, pine, Saffrolene, pepper, cypress, geranium, vanilla, tonka bean, iris, vetiver, suede, musk, ambergris. And um, Styrax is in there from another site. The nose for this is Anton Lai. This is from 2007. Currently getting a 4.04 .04 out of 5 on Fragranica. A ton of votes, 423 votes. Um, notes, pretty similar to uh, a Beaufort review that I've done. I might share it there. A big rant a couple days ago about originality. And I'm not going to do the same thing here with the, the, the Mugler review. But it, the more, you know, you start to read these notes, smell them, similar stuff. If you're going to do a take on something that's very similar, you perfumers calling you out a bit, credit credit the take you're doing. Just say, I'm doing a twist of this perfume on this. At least they get credit for being, originators always get credit no matter what, in, in my opinion. OG is OG is OG, like... It'll come out. Original people are just better. And it's okay to imitate, just give credit where credit's due. And, you know, so you're doing a modern take and doing your, your own twist on it, which they are. Okay, very spicy citrus leather on top here. Um, the, yeah, Imaginary Authors is also like this, and same with them. They should give credit to this, uh, even though that's a way more modern take and way... A little more different, but um, the concept of citrus off the top, and then that leather kind of there's asphalt that they're doing, but that that dirtiness behind. Um, they didn't. You, you look at the year on this, and to me, this is the originator. So a lot of credit for that. When I see original, all of a sudden, even me, I'll grade it differently. If you're an originator on that on that concept of um, top heart and base, yeah, you get points for that for me. I don't know if there's mixed media or if this is just all synthetics, uh, but some of the the lemon very familiar with a lot of other lemons and, and other um, the other ingredients. Leather, same. It's got that leather core. Leather. It's got the the leather synthetic leather that um, very familiar in tons of fragrances now. I don't know who was the first to start it. Tom Ford uses one. There's is different, a little different than than most, but um, there's a particular leather that uh, you smell a lot. This this might be where it started. It's glad to be smelling the original on this. You guys know how I feel. 
I, I two wearings on this one. The first wearing I put on top of a uh, perfume oil to see what happened with it. It was a 401 from uh, Tsai because um, I'm, I'm reviewing that, that whole house. So um, I'm like, oh, let's see if I even like the town of Finland after I got through the perfume oil. And this by itself, and with that perfume oil, two different things completely. I love this thing with that perfume oil. It just brought out, just added a lot of that depth and mixed in very well through the whole wearing of the fragrance. I really enjoyed it. And the second time I went to wear this, I was like, what happened to this fragrance? And not that it's bad, it's it's the same thing, the toner ray. Uh, this is blended better. Didn't shout off my skin like that didn't, the, was soapy, did turn soapy. Not as loud as the, the Beaufort one for me. Bonus, if you guys have bottles that are grown old in your collection or that you know your, your, your nose is getting tired of, layer them, try layer them, bring them back to life. You never know, you might find a combo that you just really love and enjoy. It's happened to me a few times. And um, yeah, you see what crazy things people are doing with mixtures. Uh, it's okay to do with your perfumes. So yeah, if you got those bottles already in your collection, use them. Uh, this has tons of attitude uh, right from the get-go, that sharp lemon and, and whatnot. Uh, this is a fragrance I could see just slathering on and going to play top golf, golf with the fellas with and kind of getting in their heads and making sure that they can smell me on every whiff as I swing that club. Um, just whatever advantage I can get to throw their swing off. All in fun, right? It's all in fun. As this one started drying down, I, I started talking about that, that soapy already answer for you guys. I mean, I was really hoping it didn't because it started going that way. And I'm like, no. I mean, my mind is, when I say nose to mind and effects memory, I mean, as soon as I started smelling any hints of that, my mind's like, no, it's like shut down. I don't want this <laughs> kind of thing. It's no, It didn't didn't blow up very softly used whatever it was it wasn't the same as the uh, other stuff um it taught uh liberty the orange definitely has a backbone that they built their fragrances off of someone like you and remarkable people even this one there's a bottom that's very very familiar in these fans of the house you know you know what it is you're getting used to that smell that, um, it, it's its own thing, very soft, one of the softest ones I know of, of, of any house accord. As far as in my collection, I've already went with imaginary authors, as people already know, Cobra and the Canary. Um, so I would probably still refill that one over this one. That's a personal opinion. I love the imaginary authors house accord. One of my first loves of, of a niche house, discovering perfume. I don't know if it'd be different, if, if my emotion would be different towards it's at deliberate orange, even though it was before imaginary authors. But in this case, I favor them, even though the fragrance was after. I just, I like their house of core with the notes they're using on top of their blend. Um, this is still, I, I see a lot of people going this way because there's, I mean, that's, that's an off putting fragrance too. Modern takes, I agree with all of them. Just give credit what credit to do. Uh, fragrance, in my opinion, uh, compared to Fumer's notes, the shouting of the fragrance off my skin. It didn't shout as loud as Beaufort's, but it, it all of a sudden went, it, it turns that way, it just hides those bass notes for me. So the bass notes didn't come through for me. Um, again, uh, whatever is used just overshadows that for me happens all the time um maybe it's patchouli synthetic patchouli and broxins my guess at this point is, is what it is that, that, that overtakes that um i would have loved to smell the gray ambergris that they listed in there my scoring of this one addictiveness and og factor 13 out of 15 high for the originality since i know it so far I don't know of anything that was before it. Uh, projection Siage, five out of five. Longevity, five out of five. Composition, 17 out of 25. Ingredients to price to ML, 15 out of 25. 
The top of this one was my favorite part, nine out of 10. Heart, three out of five. Base, five out of 10. Total square 72, uh, get a sample guys. I see this, uh, anybody that wants this lemon leather, it, it's a good take. Obviously it's been copied now. I know of three houses, I'm sure there's more. And I've sampled all three, it's, it's a creative take. This is a night out with the guys at the bar. Uh, just, it's a nice hangout with, with, with your friends fragrance, even, even your ladies, just hanging out with friends. Pleasing off you, I like the leather lemon smell kind of thing. I can see it being very loud in warmer weather, so cooler weather on this one. I usually don't say that. Who do I see wearing this? The Fonz, uh, Fonzie. And then from Happy Days. How many sprays? One or three for me. That's my take on Tama Finland. The bottle, I'll present it, uh, is actually different from the line. Um, it was a special edition, so that, that, that actually is a big difference that I should point out. Um, it's got nice details on the front and groovings on the front and, and whatnot. I'll put a picture up um, because it's totally different than the, the bullseye mark, red, white, and blue that you're used to with the house. Anyways, peace out, guys. Be blessed. Thanks for checking out the channel.